When she passed, I held her hand for probably 30, 45 minutes, hugging and crying and holding it and let my tears lay on it before they took her away. She knows. Sir, I need to come to your mother. So right over here, can you all stand up? Know that your mother is here. And she's so funny because she's going to me like this. She goes, Nat, she goes, I don't want to interrupt anybody. I go, honey, you're at a medium. You've got to interrupt. Like, that's what we do here. I know that this is very difficult to speak to your mom like this mm -hmm. and to connect with her like this. And first of all, when I'm connecting with your mother, all right, the moment that I'm speaking to her, this was a woman who had suffered before her passing here in this yes. world. Because the moment that I'm connecting with her, she's put me back in her body, and she's showing me that there were issues with her legs before her passing and not being able to walk. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. Yes. And at one point, she's also showing me that there was like circulation that was missing or circulation yes. issues. Because I'm looking at your mother, and she shows me her sitting in the chair, and I keep seeing all her legs. They look like they're black when I'm connecting with her. Yes. How do you connect with that? Uh, she was in the bed and we were watching her feet and they were turning purple. No, before. see how your loved ones will tell me to say things? Because these are the things that you are holding on to. These are the things that you had to see and witness. Yeah. And your mom says to me that this is something that you go through your head every single day and you can't get out. I can't. Because you literally had to watch your mom pass in front of you. I did. Your mom says to me, Matt, you need to tell my son one thing. Here in this world, your mother believed in heaven. She believes in the other side. She did. She says, and Matt, if there was any way I could reach my family, if there was any way I could connect with them, I would. And that's why I'm here right now, she tells me. Oh. I just saw your mother lean down and kiss you from the other side. Oh. Do you know, she says to me this, she says, Matt, you need to tell my son thank you for taking care of my bills Thank you for taking care of the money. Thank you for every single thing that you have done for me. She says, and the one thing that I have to let you know is that I was not afraid about passing and going to the other side. Yeah, she says, she I knew that, that I was going to be okay. Mm -hmm. She says, but what I was nervous about was you. That's mm -hmm. she tells me. And that's yeah. why she's stepping forward. He was the baby. Yeah. She tells me when I'm connecting that she wants to thank you for not leaving her side. You I literally didn't. were right there with your mom. And she shows me that you would hold her hands because she tells me, oh, Matt, God. Tell my son I felt his touch. I knew he was holding my hands, even though, don't say another word, she tells me that she could not speak or communicate with you at no, the end. She couldn't. But I also have to tell you that your mom is telling me that you allowed her to leave this world with dignity and grace. Because she says to me, Matt, I didn't want any tubes. I didn't want anything like that. No, she didn't. She says, I was at peace with my passing. But she says, the one thing that was really tough is that you weren't. And that's why... She's here. Do you know? Oh, Go ahead. I'm sorry. Did I interrupt you? Oh, Lord. Yeah. Because <laughs> when she passed, I held her hand for probably 30, 45 minutes, hugging and crying and holding it and let my tears lay on it before they took her away. She knows. She knows. You just felt the chills. Oh. That was your mother's soul that you just felt right through you. And you ready to shit your pants? Yes. Your mother just tells me that the dog's there. She says, Matt, say that the dog's there. They're not going to believe the dog's there. She just said to me she came to get the dog. Do you understand that? Yes. So know that when you had to let go of that dog and put that dog down, know that your mom's there and has your baby on the other side. She, your mother goes like this. She goes, Matt, I don't get it. Uh, I've never seen somebody love a dog so much, she says uh, to me. Gosh. <laughs> yes. Sir, did you know where you were coming here to, to, to tonight? Uh, this is why I came here. Oh, perfect. Well, I'm glad. I didn't know if your wife dragged you with something you, like that. Oh, Lord Jesus, no. <laughs> so know that. Oh, my God. You know you're in the South. Oh, Lord Jesus, no. <laughs> so know that your mother's saying to me this. She says, Matt, please let him know that the same way that he took care of me here in this world, please tell him I'm taking care of the dog on the other side, your mother's saying to me. She goes, but I'm not like you, she says to me, because she goes, Matt, this dog was so spoiled. She tells me this dog had like table scraps and used to yeah. eat from the table all the time. Like used to make yeah. things from the dog. And your mother goes, yeah. I ain't doing that shit in heaven, she says to me. <laughs> and I believe that. Oh, do I believe that. So no, it's her way of acknowledging one thing. No, it's her way of acknowledging that that soul is there. Letting you know that she is safe and at peace and that she is always and forever with you. Oh, all right, I'm going to leave you with no. that. Give them a round of applause.
You're so welcome. Yeah.